welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you. Uh, before we get started, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to, updated when I upload new videos. So if you've been here before, you'll know the background looks a little bit different. I'm actually in Mexico right now. And I just wanted to do a really quick video to show you all the toiletries that I packed for this trip. This is something that um, I feel like I used to be really good at, but since I haven't traveled for quite some time, I felt a little bit rusty. This is going to be a longer trip for me, but I still wanted to only carry on. Didn't want to check a bag, so I had to be like very strategic in packing my liquids. So here we go. I guess I'll do skincare first and then I'll talk about makeup. All right. Okay, so it's kind of like spilled out, but I have this bag, which I actually got this in South Africa a few years ago. And I really like it because it has like these two little zipper pouches first, and then it has like the big pouch. So I'll go over the big pouch first, and um, then I'll go over to the little mini pouches. So this I didn't put in there, but this is a bag of um, like cotton pads from Typology. This was like a gift with purchase that they had. I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I bought uh, several items from Typology. So I really like this for my reusable cotton pads. So this is first. Have my little toothbrush set. I actually got this in Japan. So it has my toothbrush, my toothpaste. I really love this cute little case. So definitely had to bring that. Had to bring <laughs> the edge control supply. So this is from the Do. So it has the brush here. It has um, the little comb here. And then this point to like do that. My edges are not laid right now, but you know, I could lay them if I wanted to. And then I have this Eben Slick, this hair wax stick. Eben, I really like their edge control. This hair wax is not my favorite, but I do like that it's in this like solid format. So it is just like really nice for traveling. It's really small, you know, it does the trick, but you know, probably after this wears out, I'm not gonna buy it again. And then I also brought this little mini Bioderma Sensibio. I really love this one in particular because it's great at removing makeup, sunscreen, dirt, whatever, but it's not drying. As it states, it's for sensitive skin. So this is really wonderful. And I usually just like keep this little bottle and then I have a big one that I'll refill it into this one. So I love this. <clears throat> what else? Okay, so I'll just talk about like kind of the stuff I've been packing to use for like my skincare. So in the morning, I would use this or just put water on my face. And then I'm using the um, Hyper Skin, the Hyper Clear. This is a brightening, clearing vitamin C serum. I think vitamin C is really important for my skincare routine. I do have like some dark spots, like from sun damage here. And so I think this is really important. I just opened this to bring it on the trip. So I've only used it a couple of days but it does not sting my skin, which is important because a lot of vitamin C serums do like sting and irritate my skin. So I like that this does not do that. So I like this, I'll report back on how I like it, but so far so good. Then I also have the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Balance. So this is better for like combination or oily skin. I have normal to dry skin right now, but because it's really humid here, I thought it would be good to bring like a lighter product. And I really like this for this type of weather. It has a really nice like gel water, you know, that kind of water cream consistency. It's just, it's a really nice <laughs> product. So I use this a lot. It just, it feels really nice on the skin. This is like a little decanted eye cream. This is the Bobbi Brown Priming Eye Cream. I just bought this like one or two weeks ago because I heard it was good. And people have been raving about the vitamin enriched face base for a long time, which I haven't tried, but the vitamin enriched 
eye base is lovely. It's a normal eye cream that's also marketed as being really good for prepping your eyes for makeup. I use this even on days that I'm not wearing makeup. I use this in the evenings. It's very hydrating, very soothing. And so I just decanted it into this little tiny like plastic thing and it says eye cream. <laughs> so I have that and then I have Supergoop Glow Screen, which I love for, um, I just love it for the daytime. It gives the skin a really nice glow. For like this beachy vibe, I think it's perfect. I really like how it looks on the skin. Here it is. So it's like this. I'm gonna need more than one finger to rub this in. But see, this is how it looks on the skin. So it just adds that nice glow. It doesn't look like metallic like this, and it doesn't, there's no like glitter or like sparkle necessarily. But I think if you, in some lights and some situations, especially depending on if you have a lot of skincare on underneath, it can be a little less subtle. What else? Oh, I also brought this, the Say Sun Visor, which is a mineral sunscreen. I like this sunscreen a lot. It's really nice on the skin. It does leave like a slight cast, more like around my hairline, just because it'll get like caught in all my baby hairs. But 95% of the time, I don't think it really leaves a cast on my skin. So this tube is kind of almost done. The glow screen tube is also kind of almost done. So I was like, I'm gonna just bring them both and hopefully I'll finish them both on this trip. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Sorry, I know I kind of changed positions, but that's because the battery died and I needed to move where I could plug in the camera. So anyways, I'm gonna talk about what I pack for nighttime skincare. So first up, I have this cleanser from I Do Care. It's called the Namaste Kitten. It is a clarifying cannabis sativa hemp seed oil cleanser. This was gifted to me by the brand. And I hadn't tried it before, but I brought it with me because I knew I wanted more than like a super gentle cleanser, something more than the micellar water because I was going to be wearing sunscreen, going to be sweating. And so I really wanted something that would remove my products from me. and. Again, I've only used this a few nights, but I do like it so far. It's not irritating, not drying, so I will continue to use this and report back. In this same line also is the Juicy Kitten Purifying Power Green Serum. So I've used this again a couple of nights. No news to report thus far, but I wanted to bring something clarifying because I knew that I would be sweating and putting on a lot of sunscreen, so I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to get breakouts from that. I also bring brought, <laughs> I also brought these two products. I use this combination two times a week, and that is the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment with AHA and BHA, and then I follow that with the Revolution 15% niacinamide serum. I use this and wait about 30 minutes and then I use this. This is a great combination to address my pores. I have talked about using niacinamide a lot on my channel. It's a skincare ingredient that really works well for my skin and I kind of had just not been using it. I think I had used up the Glossier Super Pure and then I just hadn't added anything to it. Even though I had this, I just hadn't started using it. And I did notice that my pores started to appear more visible. So I decided to shop my stash and use these products to help clear out my pores so they can appear smaller. And so far, so good. What else did I bring up? Oh. Of course, I had to bring my Radiance Oil from Coveted Beauty. This is a phenomenal oil for warmer climates, for more humid climates. It has um, a lot of rosehip seed oil, which has a more dry oil texture. So it soaks right into the skin. It does not leave, I actually have it on my skin right now, and it does not leave the skin looking like there's oil on it. 
it doesn't leave it like sticky you don't feel the oil at all it really does soak into the skin so it's great for this climate like right now i got back from the spa i just use the micellar water on my skin and then just put this on and then if i go back outside before the sun goes down then i'll put sunscreen on but i love this so this is great for this time of year what else did i bring i brought just some random little sample things. I brought um, a sample size of the Sicily Black Rose Cream Mask. It's super hydrating, very plumpy, very soothing. So I brought this just because, you know, after traveling, your skin can get really dry. Right now, I'm in a hotel, and if you're inside a lot, having the AC going, your skin can get dry, so that's why I brought this. I brought this little Davines oil, oil oil so i just brought this to oil my scalp and to oil my hair so it's a very thick oil it's nothing special i'm not mad at it I'm not raving about it but i just wanted to bring like a little oil for my hair i brought this sample size of the rin ever calm overnight recovery balm i have like the normal size of this and i really love it for when the skin is irritated so i thought that if I was feeling like my skin was getting kind of burned or irritated from being in the sun, then this would be really soothing to use. And then of course I brought a little small size of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I think maybe over the holidays they had, yeah, they must have had something with the regular size plus a couple of mini sizes. So I just brought this mini size with me. So this is all the skincare that I brought with me. Okay, and then in the front part of this, I brought things that I like to use on the plane. So in this first thing, I have Dr. Bronner's hand sanitizer, a package of Kleenex. I have this Lysol disinfectant spray. Usually what I do is I'll use this spray before I get on the plane and I'll spray my travel pillow just because I don't have a case for it. And it, you know, like it's just out in the open. So I feel like it touches all these things. So then I don't want to be putting it around my neck or on my face. So I'll spray it down with the Lysol. I have these antibacterial hand wipes and I have Clorox wipes. And I know now planes, they all give you the wipes, but I just like to have my own just in case. And I used, I used to wipe down my seats before the pandemic, but now it's like I'm definitely going to be wiping down things. So I like that. And then in the front top, I have, I have this little cuticle oil. Um, last time, not last time I got my nails done, but I went to a manicurist and she gave me this. It's just cuticle oil. You could actually buy these things empty and put any kind of oil or that you would want to use for your cuticles. But it's just really nice because my hands get so dry with being on the plane, of course, and then also with using hand sanitizer and washing my hands. My nails just, and my cuticles look really bad actually. So, um, and then I have this hand cream. This is from L'Occitane. It's the almond milk hand cream. I love the way it smells and it's really hydrating. And then I have my perfume. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. It's the rollerball. This is just like a, a super nostalgic scent to me. This reminds me of my grandma. And so I just really love it. So this is like, you know, what I keep with me for all my skincare and my on the plane essential items. All right. So now we're going to talk about makeup. I have... This bag, it's like a vegan le leather pouch from Zoeva. It looks like it's super full, but it zipped when I originally packed it. So I don't know. I guess I'll just, I don't know. I don't have an order. But I have, there's like a little zippered pouch on the inside and that's where I have my Say Brow Gel, which I love. This is like the one thing that I use every single day. And then I have a facial razor. I have the mac extended play giga black lash which i don't know if it's marketed as waterproof but it essentially is waterproof so it's just great for if you're gonna be by the water 
be sweating. I wouldn't put this on if I was gonna go like swimming, but if I'm just gonna be like wading in and out of the pool, in and out of the beach kind of thing, then this is really great. I also brought the Lancome Lash Idol. This is more like if at night, if I wanted to do my makeup before going to dinner. I brought the Glossier Pro Tip. It's a really nice black liner. I don't really do liner that much, but I thought I might, it's on vacation. <laughs> and then I brought this um, brush. This is from ColourPop. It's like the angled brush that um, they came out with to go with their brow pomade for their brow wax. But I use this with the, um, with the Got To Be Spiking Gel. So that's that. That's what's in this little pouch thing. I also bought this tweezer man set of tweezers. And then as far as makeup, this was hard because I do want to film some YouTube videos. So I kind of packed more makeup than what I would pack just for like my everyday use because I wanted to have enough products that I could do a couple of YouTube videos here and it wouldn't just be like oh all I brought was some lip gloss kind of thing so yeah that just kind of explains it I didn't bring any I don't think I didn't bring any concealer and I was kind of like what the hell did I do like how did I not bring concealer and the reason why I didn't bring concealer is because I brought the Ami Cole skin tint and I was kind of like, if I decide to put base makeup on, that should be fine because it's pretty humid here. And I just kind of felt like, am I really gonna put concealer on? Like, but I still wish I would have just to like brighten my under eyes. So I actually might buy some concealer here. But anyways, okay. So I guess I'll just do complexion first. Oh my gosh, let me just get this up. Oh, I also brought the Refi brow pencil for my brows. Okay. Oh, and I also brought the Glossier Clear Brow Gel. <laughs> I bought a lot of brow stuff because I was thinking that the Say Black Brown Brow Gel might be running out soon, so that's why I brought the Clear Glossier one, just in case. Okay, and then I brought the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is a must for hot climates for sure. And then, what else did I bring? I brought this Giorgio Armani. I bought the Fluid Sheer Tin. I just decanted it in this little cute little um, container that I got from Muji, just because this is a really pretty like gold color. Let me put some on. So this is what it looks like, but then when you rub it in, you see that? Such a pretty gold. So you could really put this all over the face or just like on the high points, forehead, just to give you that really nice glow. It's super lightweight, so I brought this. Um, oh, also in terms of glowy things, I bought the Patrick Ta. I forget which one it is, but it's like the bronzy body oil. I just decanted this into another like Muji container that's a spray, because this is a really beautiful oil. So this is it right there. You see that? It's really pretty. It has that tropical kind of smell, so I brought this little thing too. Okay, I bought the Milk Makeup, a little mini of the Blur Stick just to kind of smooth my pores if I thought I needed it. I brought this with me because it's a decent powder and it's really inexpensive. So if this breaks, if I lose it, it's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not the best. There are definitely better powders there that are out, but you know, if I feel the need to powder, I have this. <laughs> okay, um, then I'm gonna do like face makeup type stuff. So I brought I didn't even bring bronzer with me. I don't really know what my brain was doing because I think bronzer, I definitely had a bronzer in my bag, but then I took it out. I don't know what the thought process was, but it's gone. But I did bring the Fenty Matchstick and Truffle, which is really good for sculpting the face. So I brought that. And then I think the reason why I didn't bring bronzer is because I brought the 
Rare Beauty blush in the shade Love, which definitely has that like brick kind of reddish color that will definitely warm up the face. It gives that sun-kissed look. So I think that my thought process was the Fenty matchstick plus this would add the sculpting and the warmth to my face in place of a bronzer. That's what I'm guessing I was thinking, but I don't know what I was thinking. What other face? Okay, so I brought this one, the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in Captivate because it's a really, I think it's a color that just complement, complements, you know, sun-kissed skin because it's that coppery color. And it just looks good when you have, when at least when I've been in the sun and have more color to me, it's really pretty for that overall warmth glow. It's definitely too dark to be like a highlighter, but it's more like all over the, you know, cheekbones, forehead, you know, that bronzy glow. So, got that. Brought the Danessa Myricks, the Sweet Nectar blush. I've used this before. It's a really pretty orange. It can be sheared out for a natural flush. You can put it on the lips and the eyes. So this is like a triple duty kind of product. So I definitely had to bring this. Okay. I've done an outfit change. The battery died. So while the camera was charging, I changed for dinner. So I'm going to try to talk quickly. Lips. I brought the ColourPop BFF3 lip liner, which is just my perfect nude lip liner. I brought the ColourPop Unraveled Lipstick, which is a really pretty, just like magenta color. And then I brought the Glossier Play, the, uh, the Vinylic, Vinylic Lip in, um, what color is this? Pony, just for that nude lip gloss look. Now, what I mostly brought was eye shadows and like glitter shadows, cream shadows, because I feel like those are the most impactful. And the truth is when it's a really hot weather climate, I'm pretty much only wearing makeup for dinner at night. And so given the mask wearing and it being hot, I knew I wasn't gonna be putting a ton of products like on my face. And so I think just having a really cool shimmery eyeshadow is just like the most impactful it's easy it lasts up to the heat so that's mostly what i brought but i also brought the ColourPop proceed with caution this was the makeup shayla collab it just has a lot of really pretty neutrals and honestly i feel like i could probably mix these two brown shades right here for like a bronzer kind of thing if i was really in a pinch but this just has some really pretty neutral eyeshadows then I brought these two Danessa Myricks, um, the Twin Flames. These are just like those really pretty like iridescent. This one is like the pink and purple, kind of like glittery. And then this one is the more like gold and pinkish red. So these are, um, Passion is the second one and Young Love is the first one. So Passion and Young Love. So those are just super cool and really long lasting. I brought these two e.l.f. glitter shades. Um, one is like a more silver color, which just looks really nice. It just has that iridescent glittery silver. It's more of a clearish base. And then I have a gold one, which is really glittery. Okay, um, then I brought this Kosas 10 Second Shadow in the shade Globe, which is a really pretty like bronzy. It looks very like natural on my skin tone. So this is nice for the day. If I just want something, it just gives a nice little like bronzy color. And then the last one, this is not available either, but this is a Marc Jacobs, um, kind of like the cream shadow. This is like for the darker thing right here you know it's like for the a smoky eye it's really really beautiful it's like a blackened plum with multicolored glitters so that's all the makeup that i packed i 
it kind of makes sense to me but i wish i had brought a concealer and maybe like a cream bronzer but i don't have it i'll be fine i'll make do i hope this video was interesting to you and i will see you on my next video thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye